While things are still rough at the Barry household, things are back to normal at the corner where Patricia was killed. It's business as usual, but it is not business as usual on this murder-suicide. Along with despair and grief, there is resolve to pass strong gun control legislation, something David Scott had fought for for five years unsuccessfully. But now the Chamber of Commerce is strongly on his side. This murder wasn't in a home, but in the hub of the business district. And this just wasn't any victim, but the secretary of a former governor. And now there is a coalition formed. Well, I think it's because that people have various constituencies, and uh, pain and anguish is not felt as severely until it is felt close at home. I think that prior to now, most people have perceived the homicide problem as simply a black problem, and we might as well face that. But it is no longer a black problem. It is now a white and black problem. If we had had that waiting period, would she be alive? If we had had that 10-day waiting period that I've advocated for a long time and that the governor uh, announced today, that young lady would be alive that event would not have happened, and we would have found out that that man had a mental history. That Representative Scott says he hopes the momentum for stronger gun control legislation will carry over to January. That's when the legislature meets again. He says people have a way of forgetting, and when they forget, we may not get stronger gun control legislation, and Patricia Berry will have died in vain.